Well, well, well. Is it if it isn't a bunch of shiny hunters? What's up, fellas? How are you doing today? What are you doing in my chat room? What's up, guys? Welcome to Shiny Wars Day 1.5. It's still technically day one, but obviously it started at 8 p.m. at night. So now we're here like the next morning, actually here for the first full day. What's up? What's up, fellas? Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Pokemon official Shiny Wars, which is awesome. Uh, I think Barrel's got a shiny Zangoose as I was sleeping. Any other shinies that were gotten while I was sleeping, I would love to be caught up and hear about it. Shiny today for me. Hopefully we'll see. I think I don't realize like... Dude, doing times three hordes is so fast. And if I'm doing it 10 hours a day, I mean, so fast. You know, it feels like that to me. Doing a lot of eggs and singles and such. <clears throat> a shiny is going to creep up on us, I feel like. I feel like a shiny is going to creep up on us. And we might get multiple throughout the event in terms of the times three hordes ones. Oh, okay. I didn't know that at all, Hiroshi. So I was asking about the egg tick. So I was, I was learning egg ticking last night. And someone mentioned, like, oh, like, right now it's at 06 on the clock. And I assumed that meant that, like... I assume that meant that like it changed decently often, but apparently it only changes if the devs update the game or servers go fully offline. So, okay. So right now the egg tick is at 06 on the clock. You have to just keep an eye out for that on the world clock. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Here, someone asked about how some of my text in game is so much faster than normal. Uh, it's called custom strings. So I have a video called updated custom strings guide. You can check out if you're interested in giving your own custom strings. I feel like custom strings are a requirement for certain activities like efficient gym running, um, egg hunting, especially you're just like losing out on so much pokey in and so much time if you don't use custom strings. It's kind of a uh, custom strings are weird because it's kind of like a evil necessity or ne ne necess necessary evil because custom strains what they mostly do is they catch us up to if you play the game in um in like mandarin the game actually processes those um characters a lot faster than in english or other languages so hilariously custom straight like it, it basically lets us catch up to other languages that have less characters in general uh, i think but i think it's gotten a little faster than that to be fair but it's this weird thing of we have to go to like third party mods to be able to like speed up our game, which feels a little unfair, um, but it's also kind of fair because it speeds us up to be in pace with other languages. But now we've kind of outpaced those languages. Custom strings are one of the weirdest parts of Pokemon, especially like high level Pokemon. I've been saying forever that I kind of hope that the devs release a standardized set of strings and then kind of ban all other strings. Now, I want that standardized set of strings to be pretty fast because egg hunting is slow as molasses like i think custom strings make it number one a little much faster and that's it being much faster is still 2000 hours um and then on top of it it's it's a skill thing like custom strings make egg hunting extremely mechanically still intensive to where like new players who egg hunt for the first time will do like 300 to 330 eggs in an hour with custom strings and then like decently experienced players will do like 360 to 440 that's what about what i do and then like there were people that i know who, who are extreme like osu gamers extremely um mechanically talented gamers who will do like 540 eggs i've seen 600 eggs within one hour like that's crazy to me that there is that much of a mechanical difference between um 300 eggs for 600 from like the low end to the high end so i think it's really i think the pace at which in which custom strings create the game to be and um making eggs stuff like that is super super important super cool but it is a weird like who finds the best strings and do that third party thing and yada 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 i would love to see the devs release an actual standardized string sort of thing all right shout out to abenbag who linked me this post when this list literally dropped Two minutes ago posted two minutes ago that's how fast Aben bag was on on top of this but the prize has been completed please enjoy a little preview here it is fellas now what i really like i'll scroll down and show you look at this this item has multiple styles with a constantly sparkling version if you want to look flashy we're shiny hunters of course we want to look flashy um so you can toggle these on and off this is sick now this is what i wanted to see the shiny animation constantly around the vanity itself, that is amazing. That's what I'm talking about with a super exclusive, limited, best shiny hunter vanity in the game. That's so sick to see. It is kind of crazy that there's like a shalfa already, but if you think about it, okay, we, let's do the math, right? So there's around 1,500 people in the event. Not quite, it's a little less than that, but around 1,500 people, right? Let's say that like 
Let's just do it with ed an edge. That's how many edge shinies should have happened, right? If there's 1,500 people in the event, let's do like 30,000, right? Divided by 1,500. So that's if with like one person. So if everybody hatched 20 eggs, right? Or made 20 eggs, um, that every 20 eggs made per person or hatched person should equal a shiny, right? So like, what's the math on that? So if everybody just does one batch, or not even one batch, one batch would be like 400. Let's do 400 divided by 20. So if every single player, if my math is correct, if every single player in Shiny Wars all does one batch of eggs, that's 20, that's 20 egg shinies right there. Just for every player doing one batch. Like, that's pretty sick. That's pretty crazy to see. Is there a way to manipulate alpha swarm encounters to get a shalpha? No. You just, the way to get shalphas is to breed them over and over and over again. And it costs like 1 to 2 billion Pokean on average. What was the shalpha? It was a shalpha Sudowoodo yesterday. Someone bred one. That was the first shalpha of the event. I, but as far as we know, obviously, we don't know every team and every shiny. Okay, we've got an alpha to check, fellas. The dream would be to get a wild shalpha. The, the odds of it are so ridiculously, disgustingly slim. But that would be the dream during shiny wars no shiny who cares time to run there's 42,000 encounters by the way man it's crazy how fast even just times three hordes feel man at cranking up the encounters hey pat when do you think i should sell mysterious balls i will give you i'll tell you my opinion and what i plan to do but i always tell people this is not financial advice you should make your own decision based off of what you want to do and what works best for you what i do may be wrong and correct it's just a guesstimate i'm just another random player there's so many players to this game and all of their opinions are, are very valid right so in my opinion there's the egg tick i'm gonna wait to sell my mysterious balls until the last i think week or so of the event maybe even last day or so because that's when like I don't know if FOMO is the right word here. I think it is. That's when like the FOMO kicks in, but it's not fear of missing. I mean, it is fear of missing out. It's fear of not winning, right? There is no leader. There's no live leaderboard to keep track and keep store with Pokemo or with, with Shiny Wars. So there's going to become this huge fear of like, oh my God, guys, like what if, it, what if we don't have enough points, right? And if you, if you, you know, as time runs out, people are going to realize, oh shit, one of the only ways we like, let's just dump all of, you know there's only one shiny war let's just dump all of our pokemon into mysterious balls and pop the most we can let's just see what let's just we got to go for it all guys which probably i might do a little bit right like it's something that we might all fall victim to and it's not even like necessarily a bad thing it makes sense um if you want to dump your money into it there's only one shiny war or this one is the first one it there's only one first shiny war it makes sense but i think there will be that i think there will be a final rush of of oh shit time is running out we got to go hard and people people will be willing to dump everything for that um i think that's the best time personally to sell but we'll see what happens a lot of people have been asking me why i'm not using lepus today and and generally you don't want to use lepus at a spot that's close to a pc it's just a waste of pokean right like it's still you save you do save time and i get it's a competition in an event but in my mind and from my personal and from my perspective instead of wasting money on lepas or what i think is a waste right instead of using money on lepas i'd rather save that money to buy more dittos right i'd rather save that pokey yen like pokey yen is efficiency i'd rather save that yen that i would spend on lepas like this spot is really really close to a pc i'd rather save that yen and use that on shedinja hunting right tier zero mons or use that on um egg hunting or like other rares versus like if you're using pokey for something else you're taking away the opportunity cost of what you could have used it for for something else right i think it's really important so i'd rather save that yen from lepas at this spot at certain spots you'll see me use it this event like if i go to metapod slash kakuna i will be using lepas because it's pretty far from a pc but this spot is not far from a pc at all um so it really does just depend but i'd rather yeah i'd rather i think it's more efficient to save it and use it on other higher end shunts you guys see this visual glitch on my alt? I'm in a ditto battle. My Vaporeon is like up here glowing. This is very funny. I haven't clicked anything yet. Oh my, now my Vaporeon's just floating. It's way higher than it's supposed to be. It's kind of hard to see, but my Vaporeon is flying. It's a good, it's an interesting visual glitch. I haven't seen that yet. This is actually a good question. We should check this at the beginning of wars and at the end. Um, someone asked how many hours I have in, in on my, on my main account. 7850 
I'm curious to see what this number will be at the after the two months of Shining Wars. What a crazy... So, apparently, I want to go learn this new shunting. I'll probably grab this random jump level 49. So, for this spot, I want to go learn Trapinch shunting, okay? And for it, I specifically need a Pokemon with Sweet Scent. Let me do this. A Pokemon with Sweet Scent that also it like can dodge arena trap pokemon this is actually so hyper specific so i need a flying pokemon i think ghost types can also dodge arena trap run usually usually i would use like my runaway usually i would use runaway um raticate but it's not gonna work here i need, I need a sweet scent pokemon so to be able to efficiently tr uh go shiny hunt at trapinch slash cacnea at route 111 in hoenn i need sweet scent jump off specifically so that's flying so it can dodge arena trap and i have to pp max that so that'll be super it's a really interesting pokemon to need for this shunting spot all right so i'm gonna buy a sweet scent tm then i'll go ahead and use pp max on it on sweet scent i kind of want to get rid of memento because the idea of misclicking that <laughs> while facing down a shiny is a nightmare scenario we're gonna heal up really quick i'm gonna go test this spot and see how this how this works all right, apparently the way over to the location, it should be over here. Ape and Bag's going to go ahead and guide me. Route 111, over by the desert, so up here. Gotcha. I You can do this without Lepas, I think. That's not that far. You don't have to use... um, It's not that far. You don't have to use... um, You have to like go through any glass or, any, or grass. That's not bad. You can run away from Arena Trap. Okay, perfect. This is actually... So this will be my nighttime shunt from this point forward. Also, a shiny Cacnea would be super based. This will be my nighttime shunt from this point forward. And then in the daytime, I'll do Zangoose. Both the shinies here are so good. Absolutely. I think I do prefer... I'm not even sure. Maybe Cacnea? Cacnea? I really like orange shinies, and I feel like there's not that many of them. I think I lean Cacnea. How many points would a shiny legendary be worth? A shiny legendary is 100 points. It's like the most points in the whole event. I'm so dumb. I bought this jump bluff. I'm so dumb. So let me go grab that for good luck. I have a shiny hop if I used, I purposefully bought this jump bluff and wanted to use it because I assumed that hop if didn't also have the flying typing, but it just does. I'm so dumb. Okay, so we can go grab this. That's actually cool. So now I can't listen. This already has PP maxed sweet scent. Bad food takes. What a good name for this Pokemon. Does it have a KO move though? Let's check. It has U-turn. I mean, that'll do it, I guess. Sure. And sleep powder. So honestly, this works. Um, There we go. That's fixed. So yeah, so I can just go ahead. I should be able to use this at this shunting spot. So it's kind of perfect. Let me just make sure the particle effect is turned off to not jump scare anybody. If you ever wonder how I or what I do to be able to shiny hunt with shinies, um, you can go to the particle effect page and like click this to turn it off. It'll like get rid of the gold box around it because um, otherwise every single encounter you would like hear a shiny sound effect and it would scare the crap out of you, you know? If anybody's like bummed they missed out on sign up for Shiny Wars, what I would recommend you doing is just, I would try to host your own Shiny Wars or gather enough people who maybe missed the sign up or weren't able to do it for whatever reason. And I would try to host your own. Like before this, before the official Shiny Wars, Team Mister always hosted, te you know, team-based unofficial um, Shiny Wars, right? So that's what we've been doing for the past three or four, whatever years, right? Um, I think just, just having, just hosting your own and having that event and whatever prize possible is, is really the way to get involved with something like this. And it's a lot of fun. It's good practice. And it's really the way to, it's kind of like watching, um, you know, the Super Bowl or watching, you know, football on TV and wanting to go throw the ball around or wanting to go like have fun. You know, I think that's like, it's a really cool way to experience this and engage in the, in the hobby and engage in the activity. Yeah. I don't think we've seen any shinies on stream today, unfortunately, from any like teammates or anything like that. I think barrels and nine tails got uh zangoose and louis got numal oh shit wait didn't louis already get so is that two shinies for louis as well holy shit why are everybody everybody's getting duplicates oh my god that's crazy three louis had three shinies within the first 24 hours 20 18 hours of shiny wars what that's pretty wild i'm excited for 43k encounters man jeez we're going dry boys that's sick my bad too. Okay, so it was two for Louis. Gotcha. Good, good, good correction. But yeah, dude, I've seen we've had multiple people. Nine, nine tails got two. Louis got two. We've seen multiple, multiple duplicate shinies. All right, forty-three thousand encounters plus. I think it just became yeah, it just became daytime in game, which actually means I need to switch back locations. 
back over to Zangoose since now I'm getting Sand True. That's not as many points, so it's not as many points per hour. It's actually not efficient to Shiny Hunt there. Um, actually, at this point, I know, guys. I know. We're going to head over to... Do, do, do. What do I want here? The Smeargle or whatever? Yeah, the Smeargle. Head back over to Zangoose spot. Finally! We have something to report. Novenger. Dude, congrats. Around 30 minutes or so ago, 138 eggs. Shiny Charm and Dono, 30,000 encounters before this. That's awesome. Monchi is a cute name. Dude, congratulations. Finally a good Shiny today, man. I haven't seen anything in forever. Dude, congratulations. Shiny Eevee, you love to see it. Congratulations, Novenger. Finally, we get to see something, dude. Hell yeah, man. It's your first ever rare shiny in 6th OT. Getting a shiny Eevee for your 6th OT is pretty crazy. Dude, congratulations. That's amazing. Dude, this Stormlight Storm is actually a fantastic one to go to. They're all positioned. Like, all four of them are very, very close in proximity. You can shiny check them all really quickly. Just check them and run. Uh, it's a tier... Is it tier 0 or tier 1? It's, it's probably... It's one or the other. Um, so it's either 25 or 30 points for Shiny Wars. They're all just to the left of Celadon City. This is a, yeah, certain swarms are worth checking and very good to go check. And then certain ones, even if they're rares, if they're too far from a PC, kind of becomes not worth it. Like if you can, if you could egg four eggs faster, it kind of becomes not worth it. Or even this, like, I don't know. It's tough to, that's kind of, I always kind of compare it to that. I don't know if that's even a good thought process. Um, it's good to check free rare spawns when you can, you know? You know what? I was just saying how Hoenn's kind of the place for this event, and I'll be spending a lot of time in Hoenn. I'm going to go to Kanto for a little bit. I kind of like the idea of, uh, well, oh, no. The problem is, no, I'm not. I lied. The problem is go with going to Kanto and doing, I was going to do Pattern Bush times five hordes, which is Metapod and Kakuna. The problem is, it's decent points per hour and stuff and not bad. You can't do eggs there because it's so far from a PC yeah, the problem is you can't hatch and do that at the same time. That would be a horde that I do if um if I don't have any more eggs to hatch at the moment. Okay, I'll try to keep that in mind. That's actually a good question. Someone asked what this moveset is on this Smeargle. It's this is an old um ditto strategy. I think you would use this like with like what uh Sneasel or something? Or you would use you would use this combined with um like a Parasect in your party with like Spore and Dig. And you would basically use assist to always grab spore from the parasect. Um, and it would be a way to... Um, what was the benefit? Was it just to have more PP? I kind of forget what the benefit was. Uh, this, this is like an old ditto catching strategy though. But I think hilariously, the, this, the benefit might have literally just been... Oh no, it was two benefits. Number one... You get more PP with PP max assist versus Spore. Yes, it's so the Ditto can't get Spore. So Ditto couldn't put to sleep your Smeargle, which was, was a huge problem when catching um, Dittos. So this was the, yeah. This was before like Soak Strat and like before Netball buffs. Netball being buffed was one of the... I, I still think that Netballs will get nerfed. I think it is one of the... I think they're way too broken right now. Um, it is still one of the craziest things. Like, Netball is used for, like, everything. Like, or um, so many things. Having If you have the time to be able to combine it with Soak, or, like, Netball's being so good and getting buffed in catch rate is what made the Vaporeon and Fortress strategy, like, become a thing because they're bug and water types they turn into. Um, yeah, I, I, Netball's are, are pretty wild. I feel like, yeah. Yeah, I feel like Netball's are what... That's what I said. I think Netball's will get nerfed from 3.5 max catch rate down to 3. And then I think repeat balls, or what's the other one? Yeah, I think repeat balls. Repeat balls can mechanically stay the same way they are. That's fine. But I think they might get buffed to either 3 or 3.5. I think repeat balls mechanically can stay the same. They're kind of interesting, but they're not used anywhere because the, the catch rate's not nearly good enough. Honestly, repeat ball could get buffed all the way to four times. We'll have to see. So for those who don't know... The way repeat ball works right now is you have to catch the same species of Pokemon in a row. So if you catch and then it, it, it ups um it ups your catch rate on them by 0.1 each time. So for example, you start at 1.0 and you get to 2.5s. If you catch like 15, I think Pokemon, it's like 14 to technically 14 to 15 Pokemon of the same species in a row. So like for example, 15 um dittos in a row, right? 15 dittos in a row 
would give you the max catch rate of 2.5 times. The problem is, okay, well, yippee, now you have 2.5 times catch rate. That still loses to net ball and all these other, like, it's just not good, even to go through all that effort. And if you catch, like, one Wismer or one other species, it breaks the whole streak. So I feel like in the future, it wouldn't surprise me. I've been calling this for for months. I think net balls will get nerfed, and I think repeat balls will get buffed. Buff netball, sure, but why, or sorry, nerf, but why, why netball being good a problem? A Pokeball being good is fine, but generally, this has always historically been the case in Pokemo. You don't want one Pokeball to be the best option at every spot. They've historically always balanced around that and never want that to be the case. Um, and they've always historically shown that's their goal, right? So I think that's the main thing is Netball is too centralizing right now. Like Netball being used at Ditto is kind of crazy slash hilarious. Like at least make Dusk Ball is good there when like, you're in a cave, right? It is time to go ahead and call the stream, guys. Sorry for leaving the shunning charm early. We were in a lot of charms today and did a lot of great shunting. Had a lot of fun. It's been so enjoyable to learn egg ticking and I did a guide about that today. Lots of great encounters as normal. We're almost at 44,000. We'll start today by hitting 44,000 or starting tomorrow with that. I'll start putting the uh, amount of encounters I have back in the title as well. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream, the stream recap, all the Shiny Wars content. There's so much more to come. Like the video if you did. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. Videos. follow me on uh twitch and youtube if you want to see daily content discords down below and if you want to go above and beyond and support the content if my content has been helpful enough or entertaining enough during your pokemon journey youtube memberships twitch primes twitch subs and paypal slash venmo do help a ton so thanks for watching have a great day i'll see you guys later peace arena Hey, thank you so very much for watching until the very end of the video. That means the world to me. And everyone on this list means even more to me for helping support the channel every single day. Thanks so much.